Hey, hey neighbors, this is Joshua Sherman. Kelly Christensen. And Chloe Christensen. And welcome to Cooking, Cooking with KC Realty, Realty Group. Group. Happy August. By now you should have received our recipe card in the mail. This month we're gonna walk you through how to make And make sure to stick around for the end of this video because we're gonna be doing a genuine taste testing. All right, let's get into it. First, we're going to cut the pork into one inch cubes, which we have already done, but some of them are a little big, so I'm going to cut them down. Before we make our marinade, we're going to soak our skewers in this pot of water for about 20 minutes so that they don't char. For a marinade, we're going to do one fourth cup olive oil, one fourth cup of lemon juice, two tablespoons of red wine vinegar, Three garlic cloves, but we have minced garlic, so we are just going to use about a tablespoon. One tablespoon of dried oregano. One teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of pepper. Now you are going to whisk all of these ingredients together. And it smells delicious. Place the pork in a gallon Ziploc bag. And then add the marinade. all shaken up, refrigerate one to four hours or overnight, depending on how much time you have. It's ready. The meat is now done and ready to go on the skewers. Now you're going to thread the pork onto the skewers. We'll put about four on each. Now we're out at the grill and you are going to grill them two to three minutes each side. Borrow your dad's grill if needed. And flip again.
some of them got a little too burnt and broken half. And that one's on fire. now time to try our Greek souvlaki skewers. Let's dig in. Woo! I'm really excited because these smell so good. I am too. Excited. Should I just full mouth it? Or? I'm full mouth. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah. That's really good. Mm. Mm -hmm. that I really like delicious. the tart bits. Mm -hmm. They're really good too. I always love grilled charred bits. You can really taste the, the marinade on it too. Yeah, it is delicious. It'd be amazing with a like a tzatziki sauce. Oh yeah. Oh gosh. <laughs> and some wine too. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try our skewers. Okay. Let's see. Oh, it's so good. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Mm. 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 It's juicy. It's really juicy. Good job, Chloe. Thank you. You did a good job. Especially grilling, since you don't grill very much. <laughs> a great job. Yeah, don't mm. judge us on our grilling skills. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Call me the grill master. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is in. It's delicious. Wow, yeah. Very much so. Mm. So we, we ended up marinating this for 24 hours, right? Or just about? Mm -hmm. Well, no, about 12. About 12 hours. Mm -hmm. I bet the longer you marinate this, the better it's going to become. Mm -hmm. So if you're in a rush or having a dinner party, at least get like four hours in. Yeah. Could be good with something spicy too. It would. It would be good with that mango sauce that we made last month. It would. Wouldn't it? But you need the charred bits. The charred bits mm -hmm. make it. I'm never really done. It's like really light and yeah. Delicious. Mm -hmm. You know, I had gotten pork shoulder butt roast, and I was trying to figure out is that the same thing as roast, like pork roast? But that's what it is. Mm -hmm. The shoulder? Yeah, it's the shoulder. It's called pork shoulder butt roast. So I but thought that, they were two. I don't know. I don't either. <laughs> I don't know if it's the, sh I don't know, shoulder two butt? <laughs> shoulder two butt. I don't know. It's whatever it is. It's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's super tender. Hey neighbors, thanks for hanging out with us today. And if you tried this recipe, let us know what you think.